Hello and welcome back to another episode of NFT Oddity. If you haven't seen it yet, please check out our other content. we got fresh videos coming at you almost every day. If you like NFT collections, this is the channel for you. And today, we're going to talk about Divine Anarchy. So, Divine Anarchy is comes to us from Discord, and they have a lot of members on Discord. 125,000 at the time of this recording. And... It's a collection of about 10,000, so you do the math. Judgment is near. Divine Anarchy is the first attempt at an in-game governance NFT that will act as an experimental catalyst for open-source tribe formation. During pre-sale, you will have 24 hours to complete your whitelist mint, and you can max mint three NFTs. Good luck, citizens, and may the creator have mercy on us all. So as you can see, this is an anime style NFT. So if you're into anime, which a lot of people are, this might be for you. And they have a cool video. I suggest you watch it. I watched it all the way through. It's only 40 seconds long. It's got some great animation in it and uh, looks really good. Some good sound as well. So crank the volume up when you do watch it. Divine Anarchy is a decentralized NFT experiment where we combine sandbox game theory and community choice to bring forth innovative utility, community building, and an epic adventure for all players. By obtaining a Divine Anarchy NFT collectibles, uh, you can participate in creating the story narrative, combat other bloodlines for ascension, and so much more. So there's utility to this NFT as well, which is the key thing, which is probably why it sounds so popular. Divine Bloodlines. So check out the character guide below to discover the available faction choices. So you got Genesis, Agarthians, Songhai. Atlanteans, so uh, that's cool. They're like more people. Nubians, Celts, Egyptians, Europeans, Mongols. So there's a supply of each one. Some are a little more rare than others, like the Genesis is more rare than the Egyptians nemesis each bloodline has a dark force that seeks its way to power as long as there is a concept of victors vanquished will also exist heroes honor dignity and loyalty mark the ways of the hero all nations have an opposing force to darkness when awakened, will impart justice, peace, and equanimity. So there are 10,011 citizens from all corners of the earth gathering for final judgment. So as you can see, there's some more pictures of them, the NFTs, what they look like below, which is pretty cool. This one's got a RPG. So perks of owning a Divine Anarchy NFT, political influence, players access, private chat rooms where they can trade, converse, and build a new paradigm of governance. Deflationary specs, the first NFT built with smart contract deflationary mechanics. Our game will introduce ascension and self-sacrifices. So, I don't know about that being the first one because if you check out crypto demons they also have deflationary mechanics and and have already gone through it with the demons v2 that said it is you know a pretty cool thing sandbox effect 
join us making in making NFT history by sculpting the future of the Divine Anarchy storyline with your participation and influence. Kingdom perks, special real life rewards, airdrops, and access to members only shop with limited edition drops designed in Europe. We have a team. So there's three people on the team apparently, and they've all got their avatars. And it just links back, I think, to this page. So they're not fully doxxed, which, you know, I'd like to see the developers, you know, at least put their real names out there. I'm not saying it's going to be like a rug pull or anything, but, you know, there's always that risk with any project. So the more people. Docs themselves, you know, at least that it's makes it easier to get into it for a lot of people. And you know who's behind the project and you can trust them that they're putting their name on it. Let's see, season one roadmap completion. So there's a bunch of you know, milestones that they're hitting, which is great. Achievements to date, first off, thank you for being part of the community. Community updates, Discord members, 125,000 plus. 30 new moderators hired full time. Wow. Thirty-three thousand whitelist raffle signups. Growth rate is astounding. So I think they're doing all the right things with this project, and it's probably going to be one of the better ones this year. So I know some of you guys are looking to flip, but that's not really my. Uh, advice to give to you on whether to flip it or not because I can't say for sure that it's going to go to the moon but this one has a lot of things to like about it so there you go let's check them out over on Twitter so apparently and I have to find the tweet that they delayed the pre-sale and the launch because of high gas fees. Journey begins November 5th. So 11, 5 at 9 a.m. Eastern is the pre-sale and 11, 6 is gonna be the public sale. So November 6th, public sale, that's, when, that's the updated schedule as of three hours ago. So at the time of this recording, we're on November 3rd. So three more days, guys, for the mint on this if you want to get in on it, which you're going to want to get in on this project with a lot of members, I, I, would, I would think. We solved it figured out the last 12 hours how to guarantee gas fees reduced by up to 50% secure whitelist validation for all whitelist winners tomorrow we will announce pre-sale and public sale so they announced that good job if we check them out over on this is the discord link so I just want to take a second to appreciate some of this artwork that they put into these splash pages. I know it's not easy creating these, so good job on that. And on OpenSea, this is their official OpenSea link. There's nothing in there at this time, probably because the presale hasn't even started yet. So if we check them out over on Instagram, there's a uh, quite a few. 
some RPGs. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in these. I mean, just look at the hair. Look at the the clothing and everything. There's lots to like. The detail on some of these, like, I guess that's a tattoo. Amazing. And the masks. I'm just going to go through quite a few of these. Like that one. These are probably, you know, profile picture worthy as well, I would say. This one's got a rifle. Both male and female characters in it as well. Now look at the detail on this mask. And this weapon as well is pretty customized with the way it's wrapped and everything. Tape. Like this mask as well. It's pretty crazy. A new Atlantean has arrived. Excellent. I think I want one of the Atlanteans. Cool Bill vibes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Go check them out on Instagram if you want to see more. Remember to follow, hit like, and subscribe. Or on YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram. NFT Oddity on all the platforms. Rareable, Super Rare, and OpenSea. The wallet address is in the QR code. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk again soon.